Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about what separates the rich, the ultra rich from your average bloke that's either average, the middle class and the lower middle class. How come it seems to be that the rich get richer and the poor get poorer? Okay, let me explain this to you. So most people live month to month. Okay, most uh, there's many statistics on it. I think in America it's 78 um, percent in South Africa where I'm from I'm sure it's more um, but basically most people live month to month the difference between the ultra rich and ultra poor is little small changes usually first of all I think my opinion a lot of the wealthy people create businesses which allows them to increase their income through hiring people that's one of the big secrets that separates the rich from the poor so if you and i just find that a lot of the super wealthy it's just because they're just more interested in wealth than anything else like most people say like they want the money but they're not that interested in creating wealth it's not something that they fascinate about or going to watch youtube videos on and that's one of the big separators i find so i'm just shooting this video while i'm driving i had this idea and i thought i'll get it out there um so basically the poor um the poor or the average or whatever you want to call it the people that don't seem to what what defines middle class and average people i would say is your net worth i it would be is their net worth going up or down and over 20 30 years that's going to compound and make a huge difference in your net worth when you're in your 50s 60s and older so um that's one of the huge things that most people miss it's not huge things that separate them it's small things that compound so for example let's say your average guy earns an average um, income and decides to you know get takeaways instead of home cooked meals spoil his wife whenever he's got some extra money and uh, take the kids to Disneyland as soon as they can and just normal things that you know doesn't sound that crazy it doesn't sound like it's a big separator but what you'll find is let's say um, that's what you spend your extra 10% discretionary income on now let's say another guy that's wealthy or that became wealthy he's just an average guy has a normal job and he saves 10% of his income and puts it into real estate which basically finds good real estate deals on the side and which is leverage so maybe only puts uh, 100,000 down on a million rand property or you know whatever currency you in and uh, that deal is leveraged but they get a tenant to pay it off and in 20 years they have a second home now let's say he did that every three years as the property gets paid off he gets a better credit and managed to secure another property as also his income rises a bit as he builds his career and these small compounded changes seem to just have a huge effect in the long term and the more that he succeeds and the more that he he gets these little wins the more motivated he gets to do more things that seem to just perpetuate his success so success for me is like a, a spiraling hurricane <laughs> it sounds terrible but it's just like it's this hurricane where the more you win the more you win the more income you get so he's, this guy starts building properties so he's got passive income so now his income increases so now he's got more discretionary income to invest in more things and this uh, hurricane of uh, this hurricane spiral of success just keeps going up and up and up over time he just gets so much momentum before you know it his passive income exceeds his work income and this guy's just killing it and let me just um contrast this with the other example of the guy that's average he just spends his discretionary income um on household stuff luxury things subscriptions and taking his kids to disneyland and whatever in the beginning and you know maybe he just overspends a little bit you know he every now you know end of the year comes he says you know what let me just spoil the family and he puts it on a credit card 
and he takes his family on holiday only good intentions and he he you know his birthday comes he says you know what i'm gonna spoil myself and buy myself a nice car and these things you know his credit starts to mount in 10 20 years he feels like life is so hard he's always struggling to meet his repayments at the end of the month why is life so hard why does it feel like my expenses are always going up and the more his expenses are going up the more he feels the need to borrow money to try and meet these anyway you you get the idea and this is this is the story of the world this is what always happens is <laughs> Grant Cardone, the one guy I follow, he says that money's like a jealous lover. If you don't pay attention to it, it will leave. And uh, that's exactly how it is in a way. Whereas if you don't pay attention, before you know it, you're in this big hole of repayments. You can't even start a business now to increase your income uh, because you rely so much on your job because you got so much credit and bills that you, you couldn't fathom trying a new venture your confidence is low because you know you can't even keep your finances together you feel like you don't have it together you don't you feel like you know what you're doing um and that seems to be the trap that most people get into and i found that a lot of these things are really simple things that are just hard to do consistently like how hard is it if you have the money to not take your kids to like Disneyland if you live in South Africa it's Gold Reef City but uh, to an amusement park or something you know something fun how um, you know if you had a hard year to not take your family on vacation if you can if you have the money sounds really hard it's really difficult and sometimes if you're not thinking 20 years ahead it wouldn't even cross your mind oh let me go buy an investment property rather let's use that as a down payment most people don't think like that so anyway that's my explanation of how you have such a huge gap between the rich and the poor hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and comment below your thoughts what do you think um how could i improve on this video and also what do you think we could do what do you think i left out and do you think it's true? Is there anything else that separates the rich from the poor? Let me know.